8.1 percent overall inflation for the month of June. Uh, what are you seeing as far as the food numbers there? Yeah, so we look at food exclusively, and right now, food inflation, it's still out outpacing the general inflation rate in Canada. The food inflation overall is at 8.8%. In stores, it's at 9.4%. Uh, although in some provinces, it's actually over 10%. I'm looking at the numbers right now. 10% in Ontario, 106 in New Brunswick. 11% uh, up north, so you can still see that there's some hot spots in grocery stores across the country. But in service, uh, at restaurants, menu prices are up 7.1%. So you can see that really things are much are not as hot uh, in food service than in retail. Okay, so it costs more in a restaurant than it does in a grocery store. That's a, that's an ongoing thing we've seen. But well, overall, well, the food inflation is actually higher in retail. It doesn't mean that it, it costs less. Okay, <laughs> that's the sorry. Thing. Okay, yeah. hotter in retail. I've got to understand that's what right. those numbers mean. But eight point one of the <laughs> overall. So the rate of food inflation down from what it was in the month of May, but still hotter overall than the overall inflation number. So are you seeing this as good news for where prices are going for food or, or, or bad news today? I do. I actually think that we're starting to see uh, the end of the food inflation tunnel really because uh, you can feel that we peaked in June uh, or perhaps even earlier so I suspect that so food prices will continue to rise don't get me wrong but the pace uh, to which prices are rising will slow down uh, in Q3 and also in Q4 as we end 2022 so good news really Look, and I'm glad we, we uh, invited you onto the program to share some of that because it is so painful. We're hearing from Canadians right. when they go into the grocery stores, they're having to make some very difficult decisions. Some are not buying as much food or really stretching out their food, maybe not getting the proper nutrition because of the cost of things right now. If you look at some of the specific food categories, Professor, are there any that you're particularly concerned about right now or watching most closely? I'm, I'm right now when I'm looking at the numbers, I'm less concerned about meat. Uh, to be honest, uh, meat prices have actually uh, dropped. In, in I'm looking at beef right now. Beef actually is cheaper than two months ago. So uh, and we're in the middle of summer. So if you're a barbecue fan, this may be the right time for you to buy beef because we are expecting a bit of an upswing in the fall uh, due to lower inventories in, in cattle. Uh, both chicken and pork also stable. Uh, components of the meat trifecta that should be also be interesting otherwise across the grocery store things seem calmer than just a few months ago so good news the only one section that is of concern to us is dairy because the Canadian Dairy Commission has decided to uh, accept another increase starting in September 1st as kids go back to school so we are expecting dairy products to continue to rise into the fall into the fall okay yeah you, you mentioned some of the some of the issues the the problems that you and I have talked about for example driving some of these price increases we've talked about high commodity prices supply chain disruptions are those still at play are those still what's responsible for these uh, increasing rates Absolutely. But now uh, what, what, what is really helping companies is that market conditions are way more predictable than 12 months ago. And that's helping supply chain management overall. If we know exactly what the COVID protocols are going to be, uh, if we know that uh, when lockdowns will happen or not happen, it, it does help planning it helps companies prepare and and try to beat the market right now like over the last two years what we saw were many companies trying to beat the market and try to guess exactly what's going to happen when products will be coming in there's not as much guessing anymore and that that allows prices to be a little bit more stable even though you're seeing good news in this inflation report when it comes to food, the numbers are still outpacing the overall rate of inflation, but it seems to be in a downward trend. If you're just joining our conversation, that was the big headline from Professor Charlebois. Canadian families are still looking for strategies to save some money. So what are your, what are your best tips for buying well, for stretching that out, Professor? Yeah, I would I would leave your audience with two messages. One, uh, 
eat what you buy as much as possible, waste less. And uh, I mean, the average household in Canada can waste over $2,000 worth of food every year. So if you focus on that, you can save a lot. The other thing, uh, the big two words we're hearing right now is trading down. And if you do trade down, you will save money. Uh, what does that by, mean? What does trading down mean? With, with brands, for example, instead of going with major brands, go with private labels. Private labels are becoming more popular. You can save a lot. The other thing, Heather, if you go to discount stores, you can save anywhere between 30 to 50%. Depending on the week, you can actually buy the same product, chicken, broccoli, cauliflower, cucumbers, tomatoes. All these products, you can, you can save up to 30, between 30 to 50% if you go to a discount grocery store. So just by changing address. And so I would encourage people to reconsider where they're, they buy most of their food for a while uh, until this food inflation situation calms down. Okay. And the brands are buying. We've had people tell us just this morning they're growing their veggies right now. This is the peak time, of course, to try to reduce some of their An costs. Absolutely. Some great uh, idea. That's an option, <laughs> too. Listen, uh, it's good news from you today. Although it's painful, it is maybe trending in the right direction. We'll keep in touch and we'll watch those numbers. But thank you for that immediate reaction this morning, Professor. I really appreciate it. My pleasure.